So now that our pagination component is ready, it's time to make use of it. So before we actually use it within our view, let's navigate to app model directory and open our model class because we need to add one last method to this uh, class. The method will be called paginate, public function paginate, and it will take limit as the first argument. By default, we set it to 10. And then the key we want to use, by default, it's going to be page. And we're going to start with the count variable. First, we need to obtain the total number of records. So container, and then we want to get instance of the database. So DB, we pull the instance of the database using this approach. And then count method, uh, which we have on our database component, we're going to pass through this table then statement so this statement then we are going to pass through this statement values and that's it then semicolon at the end next what we are going to do is create the pagination view instance of so pagination equals new select pagination view and this one takes the pagination instance so new pagination instance and pagination takes four arguments as you may remember first one was the request we can pull it from a container again so container get and we go for the request then we want total number of records so count next we need the limit so limit and the last thing is the key that we want to use for our query string so key which has been passed through as an argument and then semicolon after this Okay, so we have the total number of records, we have pagination instance, and now we need to fetch the records. So records, variable, a container, get, we go for database instance again, and we go fetch objects method, and we use this full statement. And for this full statement, we are going to provide this limit method, which will take pagination limit uh, and then pagination let me just scroll up pagination offset this in internal limit method uh, let's just quick click on it so you can see actually it's it's adding this limit clause so it's going to take limit limit then limit uh, offset with the offset so if we scroll down and obviously we are passing limit taking it from the pagination uh, which then delegates it to the actually the actual pagination class and takes and calls the same uh, method and then offset the same thing so obviously get the limit and offset from the pagination class okay after this uh comma then we provide statement values so this uh statement values and the last thing is the instance of the class that we want to instantiate which is going to be the class that actually extends this given model so static class and that's nearly everything the last thing we need to do is to return our new paginator so new paginator and we're going to pass records as the first argument and then pagination instance as the second. And that's everything for this paginate method. Let's just add dog blocks here. And we're going to say get a paginator instance. Let's actually give it a capital P for paginator. Okay, and that's the, the last method of this class completed. If we save it and close it, now if we uh, open our search.php file and rather than fetching all of the records this time we are going to use paginate method and I will say that I only want two records per page okay if we uh, try and preview it in a browser you'll see that it doesn't quite work as we would expect it if I refresh the page there we go we can see one book there's no records obviously that's not quite right let's go back and this is because obviously if we go to index.php we can uh, we need to amend quite a bit of uh, quite a few variables here now first of all this if is empty books now becomes something like we remove this wrapping is uh, empty function and books is empty so if books is empty then we display this message otherwise we have this table displayed here and now for the count what we are going to do is 
echo we know we don't have to compare anything here book counts and or anything like this this time we're still going to be concatenating this but now it's going to be books and a method count on it so it's going to tell us how many records there actually are uh, there actually are so now rather than actually having this count here we're going to as well use this books and call to this count method okay then we have for each books it's not going to be for each books it's going to be for each books records because books now is the instance of the pagination paginator class so we uh, need to call this records uh, method on it to obtain all of the uh, records uh, and i think that's pretty much everything apart from the fact that obviously we need to display our pagination so after the table before the closing PHP tag here with this uh, closing uh, curly bracket, we are going to start with diff with the class center. And within this diff, I'm going to put my pagination. So within the, the opening closing uh, PHP tag, echo books pagination. And there we go. If we now save it, go back to the browser, refresh the page now. And there we go. We have four books, but we only see two of them on the page if i click next it takes me to the next page and displays the other two if i use the navigate this drop down here to select the previous page it works next one and as you can see all these buttons this one is now disabled because we're on the last page if we go to the first page this one is disabled and everything seems to be working fine so now let's try and actually test it with the search as well if i select only books within south Ham in southampton you can see pagination is completely gone because there's one record only and we display and we need at least three to show the pagination because if there is a number of records equals the uh, is always less than the, the number of records per page Page that we required and obviously pagination is going to be hidden if i try and search for london there we go we have three books so we still have one on a second page and everything seems to be working fine if you would like to change this parameter rather than being page to something else let's go back to our editor back to the search and now the second argument is going to be the key that we're going to use so i'm going to say pg rather than page go back to the uh, browse if i refresh now it's still showing only three records but if i reset everything and try and uh, go now to the next page you see we see rather than page pg and it's redirecting us to the right page anyway so it's all seems to be working fine same with the select obviously you can change whatever keyword you want to use for the for this specific uh, parameter okay so that's everything uh, for this course uh, i hope you enjoyed it uh, if you have any questions suggestions as always, please use our comment section.